Hi, it's Tim from OracleBase.com. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to use host and group variables in Ansible playbooks. We try to make our playbooks as generic and reusable as possible, so hard coding values is not a great idea. Ansible gives us lots of ways to supply variable values. In this video, we'll focus on host and group variables. This video is part of a series. It will make a lot more sense if you watch the playlist in order. We make sure we're in our working directory. We create a directory called host vars. We create files in this directory to hold host variables. There's a separate file for each host. The file name matches the host name in the inventory with the YAML file extension. In this case, we have a file called database one local domain YAML. The file contains a number of variable definitions host name, short host name, IP address, and SSH users are defined using simple values. The packages and FW rules variables use lists. We have a playbook that uses some of these host variables. The playbook targets hosts in the databases group. The first task adds a line into the host file if it's missing. It uses the line in file module, setting the state to present, the destination to etc hosts, and the line is made up of the IP address, host name, and short host name. The next task uses the DNF module to install the packages listed in the packages variable. The next task uses the firewall D module. The with item statement references the FW rules variable, which allows us to iterate through the list using the item variable in the port. When we run the playbook, Ansible checks for host variable files for any host that is targeted. If it finds one, it uses the host variables. We see the line is added to the host file. The packages are installed and the firewall rules are applied. Group variables are similar to host variables but scoped at the group level. We make sure we're in the working directory. We create a directory called group vars. We create files in this directory to hold group variables. There's a separate file for each group. The file name matches the group name in the inventory with the YAML file extension. In this case, we have a file called AppServers YAML. The file contains a single variable definition. We have a playbook that targets the AppServers group. It has a single task that uses the debug module to display the value of the SSH users variable. When we run the playbook, Ansible checks for a group variables file for the group that's targeted. If it finds one, it uses the group variables. We see debug information for the variable from both servers. Ansible has lots of ways to supply variable values, so we need to be aware of the variable precedence. The documentation has a list of 22 elements to describe this. In summary, it says, Ansible gives precedence to variables that were defined more recently more actively and with more explicit scope. In the context of this video, if we have some duplication in variable definitions, host variables take precedence over group variables as they are more specific. Thanks for watching. As always, there are links to articles containing lots more information about this subject in the description box below.